And I mean, let's be real. I mean, the cost of living over the years have got, has increased tremendously. While, while the, the wage that people are getting just has been stagnant for many, many years. I mean, it's, it's this idea of like, how are we gonna, how are we supporting our communities and our people and making sure that they're able to thrive in, in all the different areas, right? Right, right, I think that the Medicaid expansion is another good example of right. a program that, you know, the governor could have taken billions of dollars of money, free money from the federal government to provide health care for people in Pennsylvania, and he didn't do that, and instead, so now there's, you know, hundreds of thousands of Pennsylvanians who haven't benefited from the Affordable Care Act, while the states all around us are full of people who are getting health insurance for the first time, and consequently have access to health care that's going to improve their lives. You know, uh, we have a, um, our, uh, uh, an SRC, a school reform commission, which does not include any any voice of parents, um, students, or community, and so that's a problem, right? You know, there's issues that happen within our communities, and in order for those issues to be addressed and for our schools to be, to be fixed and to be addressed, um, it's going to have to come from those who are directly affected. And so having this SRC where the governor appoints three members and our mayor appoints two members, that shuts out the community, that shuts out students, it shuts out parents. And so um, we, need, we need to just get rid of it, right? And so that's an issue. So we need a governor who's willing to abolish the SRC, who's willing to repeal Act 46, you know, um, bring back um, local control so that parents and students and communities can take control of our schools and, and, and really fix our schools. So it sounds a little bit like you want the democracy, you know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> imagine that. <laughs>